Okay, here's an old violin um, from the John Juzak Company. This is, um, I think, 1923 or so. Uh, this is 1920, I'm sorry, 1924. So John Juzak, it's a violin that I've restored, or basically I got on a trade a long time ago and it sat in my shop, but had a few cracks. Um, I've had the top off and graduated the fiddle a little better. It was a little stiff, had a bright tone. Um, but this is not a master art or anything, but it's a nice Juzak fiddle that sounds killer. It's got a lot of horsepower. This one has um, Tomastic Vision solo strings, which I got a few sets of those to try. They're more of a classical string, but I tell you what, they are super loud. This one, this one is loud. This is one you want in the old time circle and all the banjos are playing and you got two guitars or three guitars and two of them are out of tune. Um, and then the bass player's playing. So you need some volume is what I'm getting at. And this one's it. Number 889, a nice old prog violin, John Juzak. I don't care how good they sound, I have a hard time playing all of them, but they're good fiddles. An old John Juzak Prague violin has nice, nice back on it. Good tone wood, good lightweight fiddle. It's got very good power and depth. <laughs> This fiddle has a few repairs on the top, but again, um, I actually put a little small breast patch in the in, in the center of the violin, so it's not going to be coming loose or anything. And it has been tuned and and put through the process to give it this kind of power. This one is number eight eighty nine. Send me an email at RoyceBird at Comcast.net if you want to try one of these fiddles. Um, I'll make you a good deal on some of these oldie goldies. Um, I'm going to be listing some bows as well pretty soon. I've got probably about 20 that I've recently completed. And there's Fretchner's, there's HR Fretchner, there's... Uh, G.A. Fretchner, there's a couple of Hoyer bows, uh, some different nice Mark Nekirkin old bows, Pernambuco, some of them silver mounted, but they're, they're really good. Most all of them are very good playing bows. I believe that the Fretchners are around 60 grams, or maybe they're, no, I'll take, take it back, they're about 58 grams. 
got some in the 60 to 61 gram range. They're all good players with really good hair. They've all been rehaired and recambered, etc. So if you're looking for a bow, let me know about that. Royceburt at Comcast.net. But again, y'all have a nice day. Thank you.